Okay, so let's get started. Um, All right, let's do it. Yeah, happy Friday. So let's talk physical fitness. Uh, physical Tiffany, fitness. Tiffany, LA Realtor. Yep, we're talking physical fitness, your expertise. So, oh, correct, correct. Um, everyone, welcome back to our Small Business Spotlight. As you know, small business owners of all kinds are being forced to get creative. So we at Tiffany Chin Real Estate are continuing our journey to do our part in helping to give back to the community that has been so good to us over the years. So we're featuring a different small business owner every Friday. And today we're shining the spotlight on Hiram Xavier Fitness. Is that your middle name, Hiram? That is my middle name, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to ask. That is, that is my middle name. <laughs> Things you learn. <laughs> All right, so Hiram is my personal trainer and someone who is Correct. particularly essential to me, to my sanity during these COVID times. Well, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So I thought I really should share your magic um, with everyone since we could really use a little boost nowadays. Yeah, so, absolutely. Right? I mean, we have indoor gyms that are closed down, so now is really the perfect time yeah. to explore yeah. their options. Yeah, exactly. All right. Good, good, good. I, I see the little orange table said I'm famous, so thank you for that. The famous, <laughs> I will take that. Oh, you know, I complain about my workouts every day. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's why famous, infamous. Famous. Word is word is traveling fast. <laughs> word is torture. traveling fast for sure. <laughs> All right, so Hiram, thank you so much for making time for us today. How are you doing? Yeah, absolutely. I'm doing really good. I just actually got done with a consultation, so. So business is still going, you know? Good. I, I, you got to pivot and keep moving. Yeah, that's all we can do. <laughs> yep. So, exactly um, right. yeah, Hiram, tell us a little bit about yourself and the story behind how and why you got started with personal training. Okay, well, I um, actually started with sports growing up. So I played mm -hmm. sports pretty much all the way through college, uh, football particularly. And uh, so I was always around the training environment, uh, the working out and all that kind of stuff. And uh, it always kind of, uh, it always kind of inspired me to see the change that, that these coaches and these conditioning coaches could, could take this raw person and then transform them, transform them into this, uh, this complete athlete. So, so I had a lot of experience with that. Uh, when I got done with football, I joined a uh, boot camp company called Camp Gladiator, which is really big in Texas. So if you have any uh, viewers here from Texas, you probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, really great company. And it really kind of was really the foundation of me kind of learning how to train different types of people from, you know, all, level, all levels of fitness. Mm -hmm. uh, and it really kind of gave me that comfort level to be around a lot of people and, and to kind of connect with different types of people. Um, so it's a really good way to kind of start my training career. Uh, mm -hmm. That was about, I mean, it's been, it's been so long. <laughs> I've been training for about 10 plus years. So, wow. so it's all kind of a blur now, but, um, but yeah, then I got into the one-on-ones and the one-on-ones is really what I enjoy because you can really take someone uh, and really kind of transform them. And, and it's really cool to kind of see the, the transformation that happens, not just from a, a physical standpoint, but uh, a mental standpoint as well. Mm -hmm. So I really, I really enjoy what I do. Nice. Good. I can tell. And what is it about, um, personal training that sparked so much joy for you? Well, I've always wanted to impact people uh, mm -hmm. as best as I could, right? And uh, I figured the best way I could do that is to share the knowledge that, that uh, I was given as, as a young man uh, and then an older man. Uh, but I took that knowledge and to see how, how again, to see how people kind of transform their body and mind is a really cool thing to see. Uh, you see someone who who maybe doesn't believe they can do certain things and then you challenge them and you, and you push them and you make them do certain things. And, and then they start doing these things naturally. And, and, and it's really cool to just kind of see the impact that you can have on someone and uh, more so to see how, how they start to view themselves. Right. So just to be a small part of that change is, is really rewarding. Right. I always like to say I am the, the navigator I'm holding the map, but you're the one that's piloting the ship and you're the one that's, you know, driving. So all I can do is give you direction. It's really the client that does all the work. Right. And I love that you've shared with me in the past, um, your client's goals. Like there was a woman who wanted to run a half marathon, marathon. Yeah. She ran a, she ran a marathon, mm -hmm. the, the, the LA marathon. She actually ran wow. it. She did really well. Uh, I was there to see it. And uh, now she's been running constantly. She's been running daily, actually. She's she's a runner now. So. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, 
we t- she never we, imagined she'd be a runner she never imagined she'd be a runner before and I, I created a marathon runner so it, it pretty much happened so I'm proud of her and, and it's really cool to see stories like that kind of unfold before your eyes yeah and it can be little goals too like someone uh, wanted to yeah. pull up right Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Pull-ups, uh, push-ups, uh, planking for a certain amount of time. It's just, I always encourage for someone to have a short-term goal because the more you can kind of check these off your boxes, the more you start to build that confidence. And then eventually those long-term goals start becoming closer and closer and more attainable. So, um, so you always want to encourage people to create short-term and create long-term as well. But uh, you got to get those minor victories in. Right. I agree. I just wanted to be able to do one real push-up. Your you know? push-ups are looking great. Your <laughs> push-ups are looking great. I'm really trying. <laughs> yeah, we're getting you. We're getting you there. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. So, um, tell, for our viewers who are, you know, in quarantine right now, everyone's right. in quarantine. What's right. one easy thing that they can do during quarantine that will help improve their physical health? Well, something that is really simple to do, and uh, I mean, you can do this across the board. You don't have to be in great shape. You don't you, just go for walks. Go for a, a daily walk. I try to do two walks a day, one in the morning, one in the evening. Uh, but walking is such a huge benefit to, to not just your physical uh, ability to fight cardiovascular disease, things like that, but it's also really big for the, the mental aspect as well. Uh, it really fights depression. It fights anxiety. So. So going out for, for – it doesn't have to be a really long walk, but stay consistent. Do daily walks. Um, you're going to see that it really kind of gives you the energy. It kind of it feeds your brain. Uh, and then as far as the physical standpoint, it, um, it's, it's really good for, uh, for really balancing the system and, and really igniting that cardiovascular system that uh, you're going to use to kind of burn, burn fat, lose weight. Uh, it's going to help with your blood circulation. Just a ton of benefits just from walking. You don't have to go out there and go for, for a marathon run. You just have to go out there and just take a nice little walk around the neighborhood. So that's something that everyone can do right now. Of course, uh, stay away from crowds. Don't walk yes. in a group of people. Uh, uh-huh. Wear your mask when you can. Uh, but, but again, just go out and just put your feet on the, on the ground. Right. It just helps to get some fresh air, really. It it's, does. It does. Yeah. yeah. Breathing indoor air all day is not really... We got to get out. We got to get out, but we also got to be safe. So right. it's kind of a nice little uh, compromise to, to, to what we're in right now. Right, right. Agreed. All right. Thank you for that. And can you tell us about your process and uh, your services? Well, basically, uh, especially right now, it's a little different because there's not a whole lot of face to face going on right now. Uh, I do have a couple of clients that are comfortable having me over and and of course we stay we stay a good distance apart from each other but mm-hmm. I am training them in person but for the most part I have a lot of clients online so mm-hmm. it's 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 through Zoom and it's through these uh virtual workouts. Right. Uh still a great workout you uh, in fact I train you virtually. Mm-hmm. Um so you're still getting a really good workout and uh and you have a coach there to kind of watch what you're doing so it's not like a video that i that i put out there and then it's just like you're following the video you actually have me there uh sort of virtually there uh and i'm kind of watching i'm 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 there i'm there Uh, and i'm kind of watching the process and i'm kind of coaching you along the way we're making changes when we have to we're adapting so things like that so it's 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 like having a personal trainer in home uh, but it's, it's, it's through virtual. Right. Right. Which no, is, I find it very helpful because when I watch a video, you yeah. know, I don't feel quite as motivated as if someone's watching me and holding me accountable. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, let's be honest. It's really easy to see on the videos, right? You're like, right. all right, I got to do this. I'm going to act like I did it and right. I'll feel good about it. But when you have someone watching, you kind of have to like, you are accountable and you kind of have to bring it. So. Right. And time passes more quickly too. It does. Yeah, absolutely. Right. It just yeah. feels so grueling when I'm watching a video and following along. Is it over yet? It's tough. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Like I did, uh, I did P90X when I was younger, and and P90X is actually really great. I I I mean, I joke with my brother so all the time. I was like, I was in the best shape of my life after my mm-hmm. P90X uh, circuit. But uh, again, it's really easy to kind of put it on and and maybe not go as hard as you would if you had someone there actually personally coaching you the whole time. Uh, so, so videos are great. They are great for people who, who are self-disciplined and who can, who can manage that type of uh, workout. But for people who need that extra boost, who need that extra accountability, uh, having a virtual trainer, I should say, is, is a really good benefit right now, especially during quarantine. 
Right, right. Exactly. Love it. All right. So you touched on this a little bit, but would you mind sharing with us how recent events have affected your business? Yeah, well, I mean, it's kind of flipped it uh, upside down a little bit. So mm -hmm. most of my, I would say, actually, 100% of my clients were face to face. So right. that was, uh, that was keeping me pretty busy. Mm -hmm. And uh, now with with uh, the pandemic going on, everything has has pretty much flipped to the online training. So, so I'm, I'm adapting to online training. I was always interested in uh, the online aspect of it. I'd never really done a whole lot of online training, right. but a lot of my fitness mentors and people that I follow have really done really well on the online circuit. So, mm -hmm. so I was always interested in learning how to do it. So now it's kind of being forced into it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually been, it's actually been really good to kind of figure things out, you right. know, right. Um, and, and, and I, I do plan to kind of expand on it. So, so I don't want to go away from the online training, even when things go back to normal. So it is, it is kind of a part of my business now. And I'm going to, I'm going to keep kind of venturing in that direction, but I don't want to lose the face to face touch either. So, mm -hmm. so I, I do want to still have a couple of clients that I see face to face. Right. Right. I get it. I mean, yeah. just like with everyone, we were all forced to, you know, get it is. Zoom, you know, it <laughs> we just, all learned it so quickly when we were it, putting it off before. <laughs> it just makes you really kind of like think about how can I operate online and how can I protect myself against future things where we can't, you know, necessarily go and see people in person. So, I mean, although it's a really crazy thing that's happening right now and it's really awful and I hope everyone stays safe out there, but, uh, but it's giving us a lot of time to reflect and to kind of make the changes that we got to make for the future. It really has. And yeah. it's really pushed us, you know, beyond our comfort zone and yeah. get the video. I mean, yeah. I had always planned on doing video before, probably for like the past five years. Every year I said I was going to do it. And it wasn't until this pandemic that I finally started with these. Yeah. Movies, you mm -hmm. know? So. There's, there's, I mean, if there is any type of silver lining in this, in right. this horrible mess, then, it's mm -hmm. the fact that people are, are actually spending more time with their families and right. and uh, and doing things that they kind of put off for a long period of time. Yeah. Uh, I mean, look at how many podcasts are, are we. I think me and my brother started a podcast as well. So everyone's starting podcasts. <laughs> uh, it's not a very good one yet, but we're working on it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like it's just giving people this time to kind of like, or this is what I want to do. And I want to communicate this to other people and and sharing information. And, and people are really starting to like tune in to what's going on in the world. And, and maybe we were kind of absent-minded a little bit before yeah. uh, we kind of took things for granted and, uh, and it's really kind of changed the, the scales a little bit. Right. Absolutely. Well, yeah, we're going to figure it all out. We'll we are. We're going to figure it out. It's better. <laughs> better right. people. Better version of ourselves. Exactly. All right. So the last big question, if someone's yep. sitting there right now and wondering, hmm, does it make sense for me to get a personal trainer? Um, what do you, what would you say to them and what's the best way to get a hold of you? Great question. Um, it really all depends. Uh, I don't bring on every single client that, that, uh, that I talk to. So um, <laughs> for the most part, I, I try to, if I, if I know I can help them, then I will bring them on as, as a client. But if I know that they need someone else, maybe someone that specializes in a certain part of training, uh, for instance, if someone's kind of coming back from an injury and maybe they have issues with like a neck or a back or things like that, right. physical therapy and things like that are probably a better option. So I'm not going to just try to pocket your money and bring you in. Just, you know, I always try to help people, whether it's, it's me as their trainer or pointing them in the right direction to someone that that they can really benefit from. So, right. so it really depends on each situation. Uh, I access each, I, I take each situation, I look at it and then I decide whether we'd be a good fit. Right. And if we're not, then I'm going to make sure that I point you in the right direction to make sure that uh, we're getting you to the, to the right person uh, because everyone's situation is a little bit different, but best way to get a hold of me is actually just uh, uh hire McZera fitness Instagram. You can just go ahead and direct message me and I respond really quickly. Um, and then we can kind of start the conversation from there. Okay, love that. Yeah, yeah. So. And I always appreciated that from the beginning of when I started talking to you that felt like no pressure. Right, and, right. And like the type of training that I do, I'm not a drill sergeant, so I know some right. people kind of appreciate that method where you're really coming down on hard on someone, but it's not my style. So uh, we probably wouldn't be a good fit if someone's looking for that type of trainer. I really kind of listen. I encourage, uh, I push people, but it's in a very comfortable setting and it's uh, – 
and it, it's really just trying to get someone to bring out that that inner that inner beast that we're trying to bring out uh but it's in a very non-threatening way so so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna yell at you and things like that i appreciate that i wouldn't respond well to that <laughs> i just sit but, there uh, and start no, i've had i've had i've had the other end of it i've had clients cuss at me and sometimes in different languages because they don't appreciate what's happening but it's oh it's always uh it's 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 never serious they're just they just don't like what's happening at the moment but they usually appreciate it after so i'm trying to learn portuguese and some other languages so i can kind of understand what's being said to me okay. uh, but i know it's not good because i can tell by the tone uh yeah all right, Hiram. Well, I appreciate your time today. You know, this was all really Absolutely, great. yeah. Um, hopefully our people found some value in this. You can go on walks. You know, it'll be go good on for walks. mental health. Daily mm -hmm. walks. Yes, it's, it's I love really that. Good. <laughs> all right. Uh, so. I apologize for being in my car, but this is kind of uh, my life right now. I'm in yeah. my car all the time. So this That's is okay. this is kind of me being in my office. I get so, it. Um, you're That's getting the... Culture, I understand. This is the real <laughs> me right here. There we go. The real yes, you. The real me. All right, Hiram. Well, we're rooting for you and truly hope Thank you. that you're Thank you for having me. To thrive. Yeah, yes. absolutely. This was a lot of fun. Um, and, you know, I hope that you stay safe. I will see you on Monday. And we'll All right. Thank you very much. If anyone has questions, they can reach out to me on this. Uh, if uh, anyone has questions about training and how to start mm -hmm. your own business, uh, anything I can help with, uh, feel free to, to reach out. Love that. Thank you, thank you. Thank Thanks you, everyone. Stay safe. I'll see you Bye. soon. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.